The number one is Waki Dog Plus. The Waki Dog Plus has been crafted with military grade paracord that can withstand a pull strength of up to 550 pounds, making it ideal for use with large breeds. A quick lock and release feature facilitates easy switching between bikes. The price approximately $60. This product is rated with 4.5 stars from 2,497 customer reviews, a customer said. Very well made. Real stainless steel heavy duty. Exactly as advertised. Another happy customer said. I have an extremely high drive German short haired pointer that I just bought it to run her into shape for hunting season. This dog is unwalkable. She pulls even on no pull harnessing. She's like driving a Ferrari in a parade. Complete frustration. Anyway, I tried this out for the first time yesterday and she did great. Went a mile and half to get acclimated to it. She tried to pull one time when she wanted to chase geese but I barely felt it on the bike and she kept trucking. This product is the best thing I've ever bought for my pup. This is a complete game changer for us. The second product is Cycle Runner Leash Buddy. The Cycle Runner Leash Buddy is made from sturdy stainless steel that offers the durability you need to ensure that your high-energy four-legged friend remains secure. Its universal bracket mounts onto nearly any seat video, and all the required hardware is included. This product is available on Amazon for $100. This product has average 4.5 stars from more than 89 customer reviews, a customer said. Love the ease of setup and how effectively it works. I did follow training videos I found online, but the first time I actually rode with the dog attached to the leash buddy, it was great. He did try to stop and sniff, but the design kept that from affecting my bike balance. Pretty impressed after the first try. Will continue to test and update if I find issues. So far I am happy. Another happy customer said. We have a husky mix who needs exercise daily. He loves the dog park, but it's not feasible to take him there to play every day. I've tried biking with him holding the leash in my hand, definitely not the safest option. Having him attached to the bike frame via leash buddy lets me steer and is safer. The best part is definitely the leash. Love the elastic portion, and it's super convenient to clip it around posts, etc. When we stop. If he's behaving, I give him the full leash length. If he starts darting after rabbits, I shorten the leash, which is super easy to do, and it helps keep him under control. The combo of the elastic leash and the spring on the metal arm is dialed in. You can tell they didn't guess but put a lot of thought and engineering into finding the right combination. An unhappy customer said. Broke first time I used it. The next one is. Non-stop dog wear antenna. If competitive bike whoring is in your pup's future, then support its instinctive desire to run using the non-stop dog wear antenna. Its design helps prevent the main line from getting caught in the front wheel when dropped, making it ideal for high-speed riding. The price approximately $50. This product has average 3.7 stars from more than 69 customer reviews, a customer said. I never worry about my line catching in my tire while using the non-stop antenna. That being said, if my dog decided that it's potty time now, or runs around the bike in order to make me fall over, that's another story. Very smart that they used the spring because it has prevented injury to myself and my dog by still being flexible. I am aware that you can use a pool noodle or a PVC pipe, and I know someone who don't run with a line keeper at all, but I couldn't bring myself to do any of those options. I would be cool if they were offered in powder-coated colors as well. For those not familiar with bike whoring, you need a pulling harness when biking with your dog like this. Walking harnesses and collars will damage your dog's muscles since they are not designed to be used in pulling sports. Non-stop offers great options, but do most mushing supply stores. Another happy customer said. 
I run my dog on public streets and this keeps his leash from catching in the front wheel. It has made our daily run much easier and safer. I tried other products found on Amazon that have the dog running beside the bike but they didn't work because my dog wants to stay out in front of the bike. An unhappy customer said. This antenna did not fit my scooter. I'm using Huffy mountain bike and a Schwinn scooter. Clearly there is a difference in European bikes, as this will not work for any bike that I'm aware of. The description says that it will fit handlebars that are 1 and an 8th in diameter. I thought this was a typo as handlebars are not that size. They meant the neck diameter. The quality is good, but for the price it had better fit. I'll make either a new mount or a bushing so I can use this, but there should be a size option. Once adapted, this product will make my life a lot easier. The number 4. The Dogger Jogger. The Dogger Jogger attaches low on the frame to prevent dogs from pulling riders over, and is made from soft nylon that won't scratch paint. Once you get to where you're going, it can be unwrapped quickly to double as a regular leash. The price approximately $35. There are 83 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.5 stars, a customer said. We have a 6-month-old American Bulldog who has endless energy and drive and is already strong as, well, a Bulldog. Oh, and he's fearless. Daily walks, training and playtime combined are not enough to put a dent in his energy level. Our household is more or less in chaos trying to manage his energy and create a calm, happy puppy. Our six-yo female am staff, who has the patience of a saint, is ready to pack her bags and split BC she's had enough. Out of sheer luck my husband stumbled upon the dogger jogger online. We we watched the videos, read the testimonials and said, what the heck, let's give it a try. It arrived in the mail yesterday and we gave it a go today. OMG! What an awesome maiden ride hubby and puppy had. Did I mention he's a puller and if he she's another dog or human he will drag you to the ground to go visit them? Not in aggression but BC out of love, he loves everyone and every dog. Not so much love for squirrels and cats so when he sees those you're going down for sure. So back to the ride, we live in a hilly. Another happy customer said. I've done a ton of research on the different bike dog leashes out there, and I decided to try the Dogger Jogger because of the price point and the fact that it hooks up partially to your bike pedal so that you can feel where your dog is at all times. I love this product. Both of my dogs took to it really easily, and when either of my dogs hesitated I was able to feel them so that I could slow or stop my bike appropriately. During installation I was nervous about the setup in regards to bike pedal impediment, but the installation instructions tell you how to adjust the lead so that isn't an issue, and during my bike rides with each dog, it definitely wasn't an issue. When there's some slack in the lead, you can feel the leash hitting the pedal, but again, there's no significant interference where you would worry about tangling or jerking on the leash. I also really like the safety feature where your dog can break away if there's an accident. An unhappy customer said. The breakaway released second time I used the product. Thankfully no cars were near. Have a very upset neighbor though sad face, attached a removable chain link and am crossing fingers. Wanted to love this product. The next product in our list is Bike and Dog. You won't need to get out the toolbox for the bike and dog, since you attach it by simply wrapping it around the frame. And you never have to remove it, as it can be clipped out of the way when your four-legged friend is not with you. The price is around $28, check out the product link in the YouTube description below.
The average rating of this product is 4.3 stars with more than 81 customer reviews, a customer said. There were no instructions on how to use this when I received the item. I ended up looping it through the hole and I'm assuming that was the intended use but it took some time to figure out on my own. Another happy customer said, This worked extremely well. Our Rottweiler is very used to walking with the leash but she walks on the right side. I was worried she wouldn't adapt well to being on the left. To help her get used to the bike leash pulling her back and being on the left side, I attached her walking leash to lead her and held it in my hand while I rode. She took to it like a champ and it was the best time I've had exercising her in a long time. She saw another dog a couple times and started to pull away from the bike but I was able to easily adjust to the pull and she came right back where she was supposed to be. The center of gravity with this leash is much lower than others and doesn't affect the bike as much. I'm a fairly experienced bike rider and our dog is very used to walking with a leash. I would say both of these things were key to our success using this product. If both of these are true for you I would definitely recommend this bike leash. The affordability, $26 at time of review, the durability, and An unhappy customer said, I bought the product, set it up like they said on my bike, used the extender, hooked up my dog and before I could even roll on my bike one time my dog tried to switch sides getting the leash caught in my rear fender and damaged my bike and spooked my dog thoroughly. This product is not the problem, my large dog wanted to change sides and that was that. The attachment should not be in the rear giving the dog the option to move. I think the attachment should be around the seat post. Not sure I would recommend this product because you need to train the dog before using this product to run next to a bike. My experience is not really product-based, inasmuch as it is my K9 child-based. The next product is Springer Dog Exerciser. Capable of securing to a bike's frame or seat stem, the Springer Dog Exerciser features a patented safety release mechanism that protects both you and your dog from injury if it happens to wrap itself around a tree or fire hydrant. The price is around $110, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product has average 4.1 stars from more than 257 customer reviews, a customer said. We purchased the Springer Dog Exerciser a few months back and use it almost every day with great joy for our dog who already starts getting excited when I put on his body harness and walk him to the bike. I was looking for more flexibility to switch our dog between bikes and since I could not find an extra clamp and admittedly to save quite some money I ordered a walkie dog. We could not believe what a difference it made in stability and safety and we unfortunately have to return the walkie dog. We really liked its concept of easily being able to snap on, off the arm as well as the price and wondered why it made such a difference. We assume that the large and strong metal spring incorporated into the springer's arm absorbs a lot of the energy as well as the overall design difference simple straight rod versus curved upwards. Do not get me wrong, the walkie dog is not horrible, and I might have lived with it if I had ordered it first and never compared it to the springer. But I can assure you that it was a huge difference if you have. Another happy customer said. Before I start my rave over this bike attachment, and I will rave over it, it's marvelous, I have to point out a few assembly quirks. First, the main clamp that attaches the Springer S-Tube is 3 to half an inch long and to install it properly you need a 3 minus 5 eighths inch length of the main, most vertical tube of the bike, or a 3 minus 5 eighths inch length of the seat post that extends from the main tube. 
The dog exerciser should not be attached to any other place on the bike. Springer specifies only these two places. Be aware that if you attach to the main tube, the bottom edge of the clamp should be about 4 to 8 inches depending on your shoe size above the bike pedal at the top of its rotation, otherwise your heel won't clear the horizontal part of the S tube. On the other hand, if you attach to the seat post, make sure that your seat is still low enough so that your feet can reach the ground while you're on the bike. Second, instruction one for how many and which plastic tubular gasket inserts to put around the main tube or seat post before you. An unhappy customer said. It broke the first time out. Good thing I had my dog leashed as well or she would have been gone. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.